Holy wire mod, this is going to be tutorial 4a in the Expression 2 series where I'm going to be covering the basics of vectors. So, let's get rid of everything but outputs and we're going to define b of type vector and that's going to be composed of some x, y, and z which are numbers. So x is going to equal, we'll say, 0, y will be 255, and z will be 0. Now that A, or that B rather, which I mentioned up above here, is going to be defined as a vector, which is having the three components of the x, y, and z, which is defined above. Now, if you think of this in terms of color, from a color spectrum of 0 to 255, we have a red, green, and blue. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now, this Y value being the green. So let's paste that and get a lamp. And I'm going to wire that up. So here we have RGB, red, green, blue, of type vector. Perfect, B, type vector. We got a data match, and as you see, we have a green light. Now if we want to change color, of course, we just simply have to change these values here from value 0 to 255. Well, I mean, we can even do it inside of here. We can put 255, 0, and 0. And you can put variables in there. You can put numbers in there. You can put mathematical operations in there. So I want to divide this by 10 and then put this much here. It gives me a lime green. You can do all kinds of things, but just for now, we're going to keep it simple. And do X, Y, and Z, and I'll put it as color blue. Now, you also have different types of vectors. Instead of a three-dimensional vector, which has X, Y, and Z, you also have a two-dimensional vector, or it's called a vector two, and defined as such, and that is simply a vec, vec two, and you have an X and Y. So just so you see, there's no error. Light's blue now, fancy. You can put this vec2 in here by saying vec2 xy, or you can simply put a, which has already been defined as vec2 xy. Now you also have a vector4 component, which I'm going to define right here, which as you guessed has a w, x, y, and z. So we're going to say c is equal to vec4. And we're going to say x, y, I'm sorry, w, x, y, z. All right, so here we go. And there's error. There's no w, which is very good to note. We do need to define our variables. So here we go. Got a w. And likewise, from above, we can also make this a vec2, putting it right here. Um, you have to substitute the x and y in the appropriate position. And actually, when you do that, you then move the w over yonder. It's right here. All right. And likewise, if you want to add another vec2, you can do this right here. That's fine. Or if you want to put a, a vec3 do that, and that works too. There's all kinds of combinations you can do with this. Um, now, let's say that we have a predefined vector. Let's change it up a little bit. And let's say it's 100, uh, 50, and 25. And let's say that I want to take the x, y, and z values from this vector. So, let's first start by defining that as b equals to this. Then I'd say b, colon. Then I'd say, let's take the x value of b. So I just need to set that to some output. I'll put that as x. All right, we're going to do the same thing for y. So b, y, and z. And it's the same thing for w as well. You just need to put your w instead of z. All right, so let's get some screens. And we'll have an x, y, y, there we go, y, not q, and z. You like z? I like z. z. All right, so we go and wire that up, put our 
x to our x, or y to our y, or z to our z, and look at all that beauty. We have everything from that vector which we saw earlier. Cool. Now, if we put decimal values in here, uh, you can do that so you can do mathematical operations. We can remove these decimal values one of three ways. We can either completely just cut them off completely by flooring them or rounding down, like so. We can take the ceiling value, which is going to force it to round up, no matter what it is. And then we have a rounding function. All right. Now I'm going to teach you a fun little command, which is very useful if you want to print out things um, as strings. So I'm going to give you a little head start here and say print. And it's just an example like hello. This is how the print command works. So as you can see in the text box right here, hello. Now it only prints it to you, so uh, don't worry about other players seeing it. So you can actually say vector or whatever vector b in this instance and say to string and it'll convert it to a string that you can output with the print command and now you can see it reads the same values as what's on the screen or you know what I can take random values this is really fun so we're gonna put randvec right here and then we're gonna set a designated range so we'll say we want random values from zero to 255 and we want to floor these values so things don't get too crazy alright let's do that and now you can see it takes random values and there's the light changes to random colors with each upload so if I throw in an interval command which is really cool it updates the expression 2 chip every so many ticks that I define, so I'll say every one second or a thousand ticks. There you have it, changing every one second, every half a second, 500 ticks. And if we want to get really crazy, put it down to 10 ticks. No, one, we'll go really crazy. Here we go. That pretty much concludes all the basics that you need to know about vectors. I'm going to be going over some mathematical uh, examples. So until then, I will see you next time.